Hi everybody. I apologize for looking like this, but I'm multitasking and masking while I'm doing this. So, um, I wanted to quickly go over how I make the reindeer chunks because they've been a huge seller for me this year, last year and this year. And I know a lot of people were interested in how to make them. So, um, I want to go, sorry, I'm trying to swipe a, I want to go over how I make them. So first of all, I buy these um, tan colored, and even though they look like a washcloth, they are not washcloths. I get them at Walmart. They are in the dish towel section. They are dish cloths. There are 12 of these in a package, and they are $3.99 for 12 of them. So they equal out to about 33 cents a chunk if you're using these. I always tear the tag off. So I'm gonna turn the camera down a little bit so y'all can see and hopefully y'all can see. Okay, so basically um, you turn your washcloth at a diagonal. And you, you know the one thing I forgot, a chunk. Let me run get one. I'll make it quick. Sorry about that guys. So I don't really have many chunks here because most everything is at my kiosk. So I happen to have a retired one. Um, so that's the one I'm gonna use. So you wanna take this um, washcloth and you wanna turn it diagonal. So um, you have a point basically with your belly button, a point, a point, and points on this side. They're kind of odd shaped washcloths at Walmart. They're really not, um, they're cheap. So they're really not, um, you know, perfectly squared. So when I do my reindeer, I always put a business card in. I always have a sticker on the back of my chunk, but I don't have one on this one because I just uh, got this one in the mail. I traded, traded somebody for it and it's for myself. So I don't have a sticker on here, but I always put a sticker on here and a business card inside. So you're gonna lay the chunk at a diagonal with the name facing up. So when they open this, the first thing they're gonna see is the name. You're gonna take and pull the two corners together. It is super duper simple. And of course, I'm not prepared because I'm not good at tutorials. I probably should have listed my items that you need for this. So I buy these bags of, you know those um, rubber bands that the kids make those rubber bracelets with, whatever they're called? I buy those. You can get them for a buck for a pack of like 500 at Walmart. So you're going to take your washcloth, you're going to roll it away from you. And you're just going to fold and roll it down until it's tight on the chunk. So it's going to look like this. The roll is away from you. So then you're going to fold this side up. Just put your finger down on there and pull it up. And then you're going to do the same thing over here. You're going to pull this side up and you're going to crisscross the ends, which are going to end up being your ears. So I take my little rubber band and wrap it twice around there. And when it's facing you, this is what it's gonna look like. Now, if you need to tuck anything, cause sometimes the washcloth doesn't roll properly, you can, but this is what it's gonna look like. And I buy these little cotton, or I don't know what you call them. They're kind of like cotton balls, but they're not. They're in the craft section. Um, I buy red ones. And I buy Google Eyes. Now all of these that I have had were from last year. So I bought nothing except the washcloths this year because when you buy all this stuff, you get such huge quantities of them. Um, these Google Eyes, a Dollar Tree for a dollar for a bag of these. I have some in here, but I want the bigger ones because I like the bigger ones. Um, I think they're cuter and they make more of a statement. So I want the bigger ones. So two wash, or two washcloths. I apologize. I'm terrible at um, tutorials. Two eyeballs, a nose, brown pipe cleaner. These are the only other um, crafts items that you're going to need. So with the, with the front face and you see the roll in the back, you don't want that to be the front. This is always the front. You're going to take and you're going to glue the eyes I just do one at a time 
glue the eyes on. Glue the nose centered below the eyes. Let's make sure it sticks. You can pull any, because you know how glue kind of... There you go. Now, last year I took a lot of time in making my antlers and it just, it was too time consuming for me. So this year I did it a little different and they sell just as well. I fold it in half. So you got two sides. I take my finger and I roll the antler around it. Okay, they don't have to be perfect. I promise you, people are not looking at that. That's why I use the rubber bands. Then I can just stick the antler down in the back of the rubber band. And then again, I'm a dollar store shopper. I buy these bows. And I don't always put bows on every single one because if I have a men's soap or something in it or something that could be more masculine, I do leave some just like this. Or I take these cute little bows. There's like a dollar for 18 of them at the dollar store. I lift up the front of the rubber band. Just put one side of the bow under there. It has these like uh, sandwich ties on it. Twist that around. We're gonna trim that off. Tuck anything behind. Okay. So here's the finished product, if you can see it. Um, I sold 50 of these in the last, most, probably 40 of the 50 were in the last three days. Um, I have a kiosk at my local mall, so I sold these. Um, I used to be really particular, make sure the ears were the same size, blah, blah, blah. People don't care, they just see them and they think they're cute. You can use the little eyes as well. But I think the bigger eyes just give it a, a cuter uh, effect. Um, I usually take the one inch round labels and I write what uh, kind of chunk it is and I just stick the label on the back side of it so I know what chunk is in there. Um, yesterday morning, I, because I sold out of my last one Saturday night at my kiosk and I worked at my kiosk yesterday, yesterday morning I uh, came, I stopped at Walmart. I got uh, two more 12 packs. I made 12 of these reindeer in like 20 minutes. So they're very easy, very quick to make. Um, the chunks are $9. I charge $10 for the reindeer. I just try to recoup uh, what I have in them. 33 cents for the washcloth. Um, literally these packs are a dollar each for hundreds of these. So um, I figure $1 covers everything that I have. I do charge tax on all of my products. So it's $10 plus tax. But these are that's what I charge for them, ten dollars. And if you have um, some of the retired chunks that you maybe only paid five dollars for, you can just charge six dollars for these. So um, it's completely up to you. Obviously, you can't charge more than what the product is worth. But I do recoup my supplies back. So that's my um, not so great tutorial on how to make a reindeer chunk. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.